Hey gang, I uh, want to give you a little quick video here on how to parse an incoming mail, email and then take some kind of an action. Um, this came about for myself. I receive emails and when I get an email I need to automatically look in the email. So I look at the subject line and I determine who it's from and then I look inside the body of the email and then um, I need to extract certain order information and then once I extract that order information I need to put it into a new email and forward that on. And I was looking for some tools to do it. I had found a couple and I'm going to show you the one that I'm using which is a product called Process Them made by a company called Cadmi or Cadmi, K-A-D-M-Y dot com and I'll put a link down below. Real slick tool. They have a free trial. I couldn't find any totally free um, that, that worked as well so I'm using this one and I think it's $99 to purchase it but I actually found a little glitch in it and I emailed them and they said oh we'll have it fixed for you this afternoon and they sent me a new build it was awesome so uh, they've been great to work with it may be a real small company maybe even a one or two person shop but uh, if you're looking for a way to parse incoming emails I use it for orders. Um, I have a, a Yahoo store and when the orders come in I need to be able to automatically process them and that's what I use it for. So let me walk you through this a little bit. Um, first thing you would do is create your uh, details of your email account. So you would put new account and what's cool is um, in this account, I'll just call it Dave, um, I can do a pop three account Outlook Express, Microsoft Outlook if it's running on your machine, or IMAP. And what I do is I've set up IMAP, um, which allows me to check my Gmail and my Yahoo business, my Yahoo personal account, and still have the entire file structure. So that's what I use. So I do IMAP, and then what you would do, whoops, what you would do is go in and put in your server information. So this might be your IMAP dot gmail.com with your user ID and password, uh, etc. So I'm going to hit cancel on that and I'll put all that in for you right now. And then I can create different rules. And under rules, I can just add a new rule and it adds it down there. Uh, in this case, we're going to, I'm going to show you one that I've already created here. Um, and this is my example three. And there's three key steps. The first is filtering, and that is determining who is the email from and is it the right person. The next piece after filtering is process, and that is pull out or extract the actual information that you need. And then last is after you extract the information, what action do you want to take? So I'll walk you through each of these. Um, filters, you can have an and or or. So you can say all of these filter conditions must exist or you can say any one of these must exist. And in this case, um, I have an ant, I, I'm just going to put one case in here, and it's the subject line. And I'm going to look at subject line contains the words new order. And in this case, what I want to look at is at the start of the line only, meaning if I were to forward this on or someone replied to it, um, or where they forwarded it to me and it had FWD or RE in front of the word new order it would not catch so that's what I'm looking for um, if you want whole string meaning the whole string says new order and there's nothing else you would do that so that's subject uh, if we want to add a new that's where you switch to or and if we want to add a new filter we would just click new filter and you can see I want to filter from the subject line who it's from uh, meaning you know the son you know Dave at yahoo.com or the name so Bill Jones who it was sent to so if you have multiple aliases um, or accounts you know you might have multiple that your Outlook or your your Gmail or Yahoo account or whatever account is searching you can make sure it's coming to you're, you're pulling from the right account or the right email um, and then you can filter on the body if it's an HTML email you filter off HTML off the header the size or the actual account that it was sent to so that's the uh, filters and then uh, so once you determine that you say okay we know it's a new order what do we want to do 
and then you can create a new pro add a process. So in this case, I've already got one set up called New Order. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in the body of the email. And what I'm looking for is after define text. So after it sees the words order number colon and have a space in there, what I want to do is extract any data after that define text up until the end of the line. And um, over here I can actually test it. So let me delete this. And you can see I've got order number. I'll put um, 12345 and just a bunch of junk in the body of the email right and there's the words order number and if I hit test and it shows up now if I put match case and I do this again and I hit test it won't match because order number was not capitalized so just to show you we'll fix that capitalize it and now we run the test and we can see it works. So we know our filter is working, so we hit OK. And then we can take different actions. So I'll show you the different actions we can take. We can write to a file. We can write to a database. If it came with an attachment, um, you can save the attachment. You can send an email. You can just modify the message or launch a file. Uh, in this case, I'm going to send an email. And I already set that up to give you an example. Send email and here's what it's going to look like. Here's our settings. So in our settings we're going to put our from, so I'm just going to say Dave at yahoo.com which is not my email so please don't send that to me, it won't come. Um, and I'm going to send this to, um, in this case what I want, actually want to do is insert, oh, I didn't create, I could have captured the email address so up here under process Let's uh, just show you what that looks like. Let's add processor. And what I want to do is say email address. And we're going to capture the from email. And hit OK. So now when I send my email down here, I'm going to save. This is from, I didn't save it, that's why it's blank. From Dave at Yahoo.com. And two, I'm going to have this sent back to the person who sent it to me. And then under here, I can, this normally would fill in if I had created my account email up there, it would fill in. But this is going to be my imap.gmail or yahoo.com. And if I've got SSL, I don't remember the port, I'm making this up and authentication and this is where you would put your uh, um, you know your Dave at yahoo.com and whatever your password is and then I'm gonna send this plain text and then the message I wanna send is new order and in fact I'm gonna put new order and I'm gonna insert in the order number and thanks for your order it'll ship soon your order number is and I'm just gonna reiterate the order number and you do whatever formatting you want, attachments, etc. And that's it. And then what's cool is on these accounts, which I don't have fully set up, but on the account, you can tell it to, um, when, you, when you set this up, um, you can tell it to check manually or check every, you know, however many minutes. I check mine about every 30 minutes and it just runs on my machine. I've set it in my auto start so that if the computer gets rebooted for any reason it automatically starts up and it's always running and then um, if you only want it to process new messages you can do that um, or uh, um, there's another option I think if you choose if we choose what does it say on IMAP let's check that out yeah it's not going to let me uh, oh, SSL hang on Oh, not responding. Too much going on on my machine. But you get the gist. <laughs> but that is Cadme Process Them. And uh, hopefully that gave you some ideas on some of the things that you can do. There we go. We're 
too much going on there. Um, but it gives you an example of some of the things that you can do with this tool and being able to purse emails. And good luck. Hope that works for you. Sh leave a comment below or subscribe if you want to learn about some of the other tools that I found that have been uh, hard to find but extremely useful.